This video shows you the basics of using the various tool windows in the HVAC Tools program. Notice that the default units input for the current project is set to English IP, so every tool window will use English units unless overridden. Click the project menu to see all of the tool windows that are available. There are 15 tool windows available in each project. We will use the duct sizing window to demonstrate a few features that are common among the tool windows. Since we are in the sample project that is included with HVAC tools, this window already has enough of the inputs filled in to get results. The units input is set to default, which means that this tool window is in English IP mode, as we saw on the default units input on the general project data window. Change the units for this window to metric SI. Notice that all of the input values changed to their metric equivalents. Also notice that the boxes in the results frame are showing metric units values. Set this window back to the default of English units. On many of the tool windows, there is a units frame which lets you set the units to use for various inputs. There are both English and metric options that you can set. Which ones are used depends on the current units setting for the window. Change the flow units option for English units from cubic feet per minute to cubic feet per hour. Notice that the flow input value changed from 300 to 18,000. Change the units for flow back to CFM. Here are the flow units options available to be used if you change the main units input for this window from default to metric SI. Notice that the caption of the duct sizing window shows that we are currently viewing case one of one. Each of the tool windows lets you have as many cases as you want to be saved in the project for that tool. Each case on this window, for example, lets you enter values to get the optimal size for a single duct. Click Create New Case to add a new case to this project's duct sizing cases. Now the caption of the window says that we are viewing case number two out of two total cases. Let's name this case Test. Since we haven't entered any values for this case yet, the errors box shows an error saying that the airflow is zero. Enter a flow of 500 CFM. Notice that since airflow is no longer zero, the errors box now shows a different error saying that the design loss is zero. Select 0 0.08 for the design loss input. Now that the design loss is a valid number, the message in the errors box shows a different error, which says that the roughness factor is zero. Even though zero is valid for both temperature and elevation, let's set these inputs to other values. Select galvanized steel from the list, which has a roughness factor of 0 0.0003. Now the errors box says no errors were found. And since there are no errors, the results box shows calculation results, including the duct diameter of 11 inches. Now let's demonstrate the copy and paste features that are available for the tool windows. Click Copy Case. The current case has now been copied to the clipboard and can be pasted into another case. Click Create New Case again to create a new blank case. Click Paste Case to paste the case in the clipboard into Case 3. Case 3 is now a copy of Case 2. Let's change the name of Case 3 to Copy of Test. Click Open a New Duct Sizing Window to open a new duct sizing window. Now we have two duct sizing windows open in the current project. 
By design, it's not possible to open the same case in two different duct sizing windows. Let's see what happens if we try to do so. Click Copy of Test in the current window. Since Copy of Test is already open in the other duct sizing window, that window will simply become the current window. Notice that the left window is now the current window. Let's save the copy of test case so we can use it later for other cases in the current project or in other projects. Click Save Case for Later. We could use a different name for the saved copy of this case, but let's leave it as it is. Click OK to save the current case for use later on. Now let's create a new blank case. Click Create New Case again. It doesn't matter which of our two duct sizing windows we use, by the way. Click Load a Saved Case to paste our copy of test case into case 4. Select our copy of test case. Click Copy to Current Case. Let's rename this case Another Copy of Test. Click Save as Default Case to make Another Copy of Test your default case that will be copied whenever you create a new case. Click Create New Case. This time, the new case will be a copy of the Another Copy of Test case which we made the default. Case number five is a copy of another copy of test. Let's open another tool window to see some features that are shared among the tool windows. Click Fan Curve. Notice that this other tool window has all the same case-specific toolbar buttons and inputs that we were just using. And like the duct sizing window, it also has an area for setting some English and metric units, a box for showing errors, and boxes for showing calculation results. These similarities among the tool windows make HVAC tools an easy program to learn how to use. More videos on each tool function of HVAC tools are coming soon. Thanks for watching.